evening youtubers just a quick video a little personal video uh, and a life hack i guess for anyone out there that suffers from the same dysfunctional nail growth that i do or did um i believe the terminology for this is bores b-a-u-s bores lines in your nails which is a dis a disformity in the growth of your fingernails it doesn't necessarily have to be the thumbnail but thumbnails are the most common um, I've had it for years it's never really affected me never given me any pain um, but during this lockdown period just through boredom I guess I decided to look into it and find out what was causing it there aren't many forums out there there aren't many websites that can help there is a couple of handy YouTube videos which I found and there's all kinds of things on there about how you can try and get rid of it, pull your, pull your nails off, um, have them surgically removed so they can regrow. Um, no NHS doctor in the UK is going to do that for you. You would have to go and see a specialist, possibly a plastic surgeon. So um, I stumbled across one forum where there was a woman on there talking about her uh, dysfunctional nail growth. And one thing that she said is that what caused it was the constant picking, doing that on the top of your nail, the skin between your nail and your thumb, um, which it was something coincidentally that I did a lot of um, on both nails with the same finger. And just so you can see, my other nail does the same. But what you can also see is that my nail is starting to grow correctly smoothly I'm about a third of the way in and um, I followed the instruction of this one particular person who said you've got to stop doing that um, which is just a habit you just do it naturally I think you just whether it's nerves I don't know what it is but I bite my nails I pick the skin off my nails it's just a, a habit I think a lot of people do that um, but for me it was creating this growth of the nail so um, to stop myself from doing it, what I did was I got some, uh, I think it's called Gelesh nail varnish, which is like a thick acrylic nail varnish. I painted it onto my nail and I took it all the way up past the skin. So it sort of overlapped onto the skin so that I couldn't pick away at that uh, part of the, the skin where the skin meets the nail. I left it on there for about two weeks. Uh, I had to reapply it a couple of times because it did fall off. Um, uh, but you just simply just reapply it, it wasn't difficult. And then after two weeks, I removed it completely. And uh, I could see after two weeks, a small area at the bottom of the nail, the top of the nail there, starting to become smooth, um, which gave me enough confidence that this was the right thing to do to stop it. So I just stopped picking at my fingers, and now we're about, I think, six weeks in, maybe seven weeks. I'm about a third of the way across the nail. So um, it seemed to work. It worked for me anyway. So anyone out there who's got similar issues with your nails, uh, maybe look at this as an avenue to try and repair it before you go to a surgeon to rip it out or rip it off. I don't think that would work as effective as this has. Um, so I'm going to stop the video now um, and I'll can pick the video back up and say another four weeks time so I think by then I'll be about halfway across and you'll be able to see the progression and uh, yeah we'll go from there see you in a bit okay we are now uh, two two and a half weeks since the last video and you see now I need to trim my nails a little bit but we're about halfway across the nail. Uh, again, still continue to stop picking at the uh, at the bottom of the nail there, where the skin meets the nail. And you see they're growing pretty well. And I'll show you the other one as well. And that's growing also. So about 50% of the way across now. So I would reckon in another. Maybe four weeks we'll have a completely new nail in good nick. Um, 
Yeah, so really pleased with that. No problem so far. All good. I've not done anything, not put anything on the nails. The nails are uh, completely gelesh free or any, I've not put anything on them. Just kept them trim without biting them or chewing on my nails. And it seems to be working really well. So, fingers crossed, we'll be good to go in about four weeks. I'll be back soon. Okay, uh, just a quick update then. We are now, I think about nine weeks in. So it's taken nine weeks to get from what you saw at the start to now this point. So I would say we're about two thirds of the way across the nail. I've just trimmed my nails as well. Um, and you can see there, we're way over halfway. I'm gonna go with two thirds. And the nail is growing nicely still a bit bumpy but the groove is definitely gone I imagine the nail will grow eventually like perfectly straight but so far and just so you can see the other one uh, uh, get it to focus there you go yeah so that again is about I'd say two-thirds of the way in um, and I will carry on doing little videos of uh, the progress over the next few weeks. See you in a bit. Okay, YouTubers, we are now 12 weeks in, I think. I've lost count, to be honest. We're a few weeks in further than we were from the last clip that you're watching. And you can see there, I reckon another four weeks, and that'll be completely gone. I've just trimmed my nails, and there's a, I'd say we're, least three quarters of the way through maybe four fifths and you see the nail there looking really good nice and smooth and we're on track the other one's not as good <clears throat> i'd say that is definitely three quarters of the way across um, and it's a little bit more bumpy than the other one but it's still coming smooth don't know why that is but that is what it is, I'm not bothered. It's still looking good considering what it was before. Stand by for the next one, which will be, I think, the final one. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a final clip with the clippers to show you it being chopped off because that bit at the end will gradually grow out um, and form the end of the nail. And I'll do my final YouTube uh, end video of that bit being chopped off. So stay tuned for that. Stay, you're, so, you're so lucky, YouTubers, that I've done this for you. So stay tuned for that anyway. See you in a bit. Welcome back then. This is my final video of the nail video, whatever you want to call it. You can see there now how much growth has been since the last clip. And it's pretty much all grown out. So I'm just going to show you the other one. And the other one's a lot better profile is nicer as well but this is just a before I did the final cut you can see there how well it's come out if the thing will just focus in that would be nice don't know why it won't maybe it's because I'm set like that anyway you get the gist there it is I'm now going to give it its final trim see you in a minute Okay, then there we go. Thumbnail has been trimmed. The profile of my left thumb isn't as good as the right thumb, as you'll see in a second, but it's a it's a hundred percent better and smoother. And I'm sh I'm sure that lump is going to grow out. It's just going to take a little bit longer than the right hand thumb because the right hand thumb, which you'll see now, is perfect. Very, very nice. The lump sees right at the end of the fingernail, so a few weeks that'll be gone completely, but it's smooth and it's grown nicely. And all of that from not pushing back the cuticle of the nail. Thanks for watching. Tune in for the next one.